What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this video I to go over my top five things that I want announced at the PS5 reveal event. Now, some of these things are a whole lot more likely than others, and obviously I understand that there can be an enormous amount of things announced, also things that we kind of know are going to get announced. This is kind of putting them all into one. I understand the list isn't perfect, but I really do enjoy uh, making these ranking videos. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. A lot of people uh, seem to really like it. And as always, I want to see your ranking in the comments below. What is your know, kind of your top list of what you want to see at the event. Really quickly, before I jump in, I want to promote uh, my second channel. We're very, very close to a 1,000 subscribers there. You guys have done an incredible, incredible job of supporting me over there as well. I make videos there a little bit more experimental as well over there by cover games. I cover games when they come out as well. So though there is lots of content there. There will continue to be lots of content there. The link for it will be in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, you guys want to subscribe there, it would mean a lot to me. I'm going to stop promoting it as heavily once we get to a 1,000. Uh, but again, I really do uh, thank you guys for your support. Okay, again, I get my list isn't perfect. I get that there's a lot of other things that uh, can definitely be put in here. And ultimately, these are things that I think are likely. Maybe if, if, if I throw that in there, these are things I think are likely to be at the event. There's other things like, I, I mean, my God, I would love to see like an Uncharted, uh, you know, loads of, I mean, the Batman game, Harry Potter, stuff like that. But these are things I think are more likely than those things to be there. Of course, there's going to be surprises. And I'm, of course, those are going to be uh, very, very amazing. But here we go. Here's the top five. I'm going to go worst to, to best. Uh, again, I don't think any of these are necessarily bad at all. In fact, I, I absolutely would love to see all of them. But these are kind of uh, where I would be most uh, excited if I saw. Number five is the God of War 2 teaser. Now you could say, oh my God, that's number five. There's four things higher. Uh, yes, honestly. And the reason is because it's just going to be a teaser. Okay, I love God of War. I, I've loved God of War for a very, very long time. God of War 3 was actually my first God of War uh, I've played. But I've played three uh, Ascension. Uh, I played the newest God of War, obviously, and I actually went back. I, you know, remember the uh, like the collections they had of God of War. These games are amazing. Okay, God of War, the the obviously the 2018 game was absolutely incredible. One of the not only the best PlayStation 4 games, but one of the best games out there still is. I really do believe that. So of course, I'm absolutely stoked for the second game. At the same time, it'll be a teaser. Okay, at the best. In fact, this is probably out of all the five, this is probably least likely of the five to be there. Okay. Okay, so I, I I think it will. I really do. I just think it's the least likely. Um, but it would probably be not a lot shown because this game I think really is still a while out. I feel like this game would probably come out in the spring of like 2022. I think you got to give them around four years from the first God of War. So I think we still got a little bit more waiting to do. And because of that, I mean maybe it'd be like uh, the Last of Us. Remember Last of Us Part Two? I mean that teaser with Ellie playing the guitar and saying how she's gonna like hunt them all down. That was three and a half years ago. That was a very very long time ago. So it's not impossible that they don't have some sort of teaser like that or like the teaser they first had for the or 2018's God of War. You know, they could very well do something like that, like The Last of Us, like God of War, like any of those games. But I think it would just be the least amount shown uh, of the other things. So uh, number four is the PS5. Now, again, you could say, oh, my God, Alex, the actual console. Yeah, so this is the actual console. This is the, the fourth thing I would be most excited to see out of this list. Uh, and again, mainly because... I'm not 100% sold on us getting the console. They've talked about the future of gaming. In fact, that's obviously what they, they, they kind of like their slogan, right? This is going to show games. This is going to show games. This is, I think, going to show a lot of publishers and developers that are making games. Remember, I've talked about how I think they'll probably do the, those kind of uh, cheesy graphics where they show, here's 50 developers, here's 50 publishers working on games for the PS5. You know, it's a thing like that. And obviously, I mean, they're going to show first-party games. They're going to show third-party games. I'm sure they'll talk about some features of the PS5. In fact, that's uh, the next one on the list. I'll get to that in a second. But the actual what the system looks like, I mean, it is time. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they showed us the full PS5. But I still, for whatever reason, I'm only expecting a teaser of what it looks like. I don't know why. I don't even think that's likely. I think we probably do end up seeing the entire console, but I don't want to get myself too excited. I, I, I honestly don't even understand where my mind is going uh, or has gone with that. But uh, I definitely obviously want to see the PS5. Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of like what things look like, okay? I, like literally uh, how they look. The DualSense controller is amazing. It looks visually amazing, but I'm not the biggest guy. You know, I, there's there's videos that go on the specs of the consoles and how they look and how they're they're built and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I'm just not, that's just not me. That's not what I'm into. Uh, the PS5, I mean, if it looks ugly, I'm still going to buy it, right? No matter what it looks like, uh, if, if it's a design or if it's a color maybe that I don't want to see. I would really be interested to 
see if it's white. I really think it's possible it's white. It would look more futuristic. It would look more uh, just in that way. It really would look uh, more of like a futuristic gaming console, and I think that's definitely possible uh, that they do it. So that is number four. Number three is the announcement of backwards compatibility. Now, this is more, this is like a prediction, okay? This is something I absolutely think they need to do and they should do, okay? Microsoft has said for the longest time, I believe even back around the Game Awards, they talked about, or maybe it was like early January, they talked about the smart delivery, and I've made videos specifically talking about that, praising them, saying that so all Sony needs to do is come out and say, we can do the same thing. Now, yesterday, Destiny 2's expansion and, and all the stuff they talked about with Destiny 2, they confirmed on P on PlayStation this backwards thing that you can you can upgrade basically uh, on the next console. Now again, like I, I know I just said backwards. I know backwards compatibility is a thing. Okay, I understand that that will be available for PS5, but I've been saying it for the longest time. They need that smart delivery where if you buy the game on your PS4, as long as you know the publisher and the developer, like as long as they say okay, it's going to happen, you'll be able to get the PS5 version when you get the PS5. Even for someone like me who wants uh, the PS5 day one, Assassin's Creed, say, let's give that as an example, that could very well come out before next gen. In fact, I think 1000% it will. That will come out in October and the next gen will come out in November. I want Assassin's Creed day one. So I'm going to buy it on PS4. I need to know. My, and this is, I mean, this is personal. This is just for myself. I need to know that I'll be able to get the PS5 version for free because, it, again, it's not backwards compatible in the way that you know PS5 is going to just make it be better. So the PS5 version of Assassin's Creed is better than if I were to just play it on the PS5. You know what I mean? The PS4 version on the PS5, there's going to be a bigger jump with the PS5 exclusive version. And that goes the same thing with sports games. You know, I buy every year's NHL game, okay? So that's a game that I'd be looking for that I would get on PS4. But I, if they have a next-gen version that's just a whole lot better than if you just do backwards compatibility I want that and Microsoft we know will have that and so Sony needs it as well I've said it for the longest time I think it's insanely insanely important I think you know the writings on the wall we've heard there there were leaks I've actually talked about that a few weeks ago there was a leak that said PS5 is going to have that they will announce that so that's something I'm definitely looking for just to kind of put my mind at ease I think put a lot of people's mind at ease uh, number two is Spider-Man 2 seeing Spider-Man 2 the reason it's number two is I just don't know how much they would show of it. So I, I think we actually, I mean, out of God of War and Spider-Man, I think we would get more from Spider-Man. Spider-Man is probably only a year out. Would we see gameplay? Would we see it like running on the PS5? I don't know. And the reason is because of the number one thing on my list. So I don't want to get to that uh, just yet, spoil it. But, uh, you know, I think that we're going to get something meatier with Spider-Man than God of War. I'm, I'm psyched. I'm really, really psyched. I think... If you ask me, like, which one do you like better, I would pro I mean, this could hurt people's, uh, you know, thought of me, but I, I honestly feel like I like God of War more. But at the same time, Spider-Man is such a phenomenal, I mean, I love, I love both, okay? It's, it's really like picking a child, right? Uh, I love both. Uh, I think God of War is just a little bit more special to me, but I'm so excited. You know, Spider-Man's been leaked a lot. Now, whether they come true or not, obviously that that's, remains to be seen, but we've heard a lot about what Spider-Man 2 is going to be like gameplay-wise, setting-wise, atmosphere, characters, all the stuff. It sounds incredible. Even if half the stuff is true, it sounds absolutely incredible. And the first game is so, it really is. It's so, so special. I actually thought about it I, because I beat it. I platinumed it a few months ago. I recently thought about it like yesterday, just for some reason I thought about swinging around the city and it's like, man, what an amazing game. So I'm so, I am really am. I'm so excited excited to see Spider-Man 2. It's something that I would almost guarantee. You know, if, if I have to give out guarantees, I guarantee you Spider-Man 2 will make an appearance in some way at this event. I just don't know how much. And number one is actually Horizon Zero Dawn 2, which, you know, this is, this is weird because if you ask me to rank those three, God of War, Horizon, Spider-Man, Horizon's last. Now, I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. In fact, I played it when it first came out. Then I stopped. I never actually beat it. I went back to it this year. Remember, 2020 was Alex's year of beating games he's never played before or played very little of. I went back. I beat it. I beat the Frozen Wilds DLC. That game is, I mean, I love it more now than I loved it back when it came out in 2017. So I love Horizon, okay? I really, really do. I think it's just the weakest of those three games. But the difference is this is the closest of the games. It's possible it's a launch title. It's possible it comes out this fall. It's also possible, obviously, it comes out like in the spring or like early, you know, late, uh, late, you know, uh, holiday season, right? So like January, February. In fact, obviously, Horizon came out in February the year it came out. So it's very possible. 
possible it could just try and do the same thing and come out in February, but it's the closest game to coming out. Now, the thing I said with Spider-Man, which makes it interesting, is you know they obviously showed off Spider-Man, the 2018 game, with like the loading times, showing how fast the PS5 runs. And we know how important Spider-Man is to them. The question is to show off. So say they, because I don't even know if they would do this, but if they do gameplay for any of these games, which one do they pick? Or do they do all of them? I mean, I guess you could say that. But which ones do they pick? Because, I mean, I think Spider-Man is probably more important to them than Horizon. I don't think that's a mean thing to say. I think that's just factual. Uh, but horizon's closer so do you show off horizon more and listen the question is 1000 percent answered if horizon is a launch title if horizon comes out this fall they're gonna push that thing very very hard we're gonna start seeing gameplay of it very very quickly we're gonna see a lot of it very quickly okay so that would obviously take center stage if it's like next year if they do like a spring of 2021 as horizon fall of 2021 as spider-man you know give us those two really big games to kick off the first full year of ps5 uh, then maybe they could pick maybe they would show off spider man but i don't know if you show off spider-man that kind of shows doesn't that kind of give the impression that spider-man is ahead of horizon in terms of like which one's done first you know what i mean so i mean that kind of gets into the more annoying thing where you have to think about that kind of stuff uh but i do think honestly it does impact which one is shown more or, or what they show in general of either of these two but horizon i'm expect like going in i'm expecting if i see any gameplay for any of these games if the, if they even do it i'm not necessarily expecting it at all but if they do gameplay for any of these games, I think it would be Horizon. And so, ultimately, we're going to see our first game, big game, being run on the PS5, you know, if you follow that train of thought, right? So, that is why that excites me the most. But again, ultimately, I mean, if Batman's shown, I think that takes center stage, uh, in my mind, like how much uh, of uh, excitement I would have. If Uncharted gets shown, if, you know, The Last of Us multiplayer gets shown, you know, whatever. There's so many things that I may not even have been thinking of. Obviously, Silent Hill. I've gone over different predictions predictions of what I think will be at this event. There can be tons of things. It's going to be like an hour plus long show. They're going to announce a lot of things. They're going to show a lot of things. I'm so excited for honestly every single one of them. And with that being said, I'm going to try and make as many videos as humanly possible for these games. So that goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video, uh, the second channel as well. So Thursday after this PS5 reveal event, I'm going to be making a couple videos here. They won't all get notifications. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll, we'll kind of finish off any uh, you know big things that I kind of want to talk about from the PS5 reveal event. We'll talk about those over the weekend. My second channel, I may have a couple videos that go up there every single day. Uh, normally, it's just one a day, but I may have more videos going up there uh, to kind of double this. So if you guys like PlayStation, if you guys have liked the content I've brought to you, uh, definitely a lot more coming. They won't all get notifications. Obviously, I have to split some up on the second channel as well, but I really want to cover this PS5 reveal event as much as humanly possible. Okay, so let me know uh, what you want me to cover. You know, I'll probably be asking uh, for that as well when this PS5 reveal event happens. But let me know what you want to see. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Have the bell icon turned on. Subscribe to the second channel. And tomorrow's the big day, guys, and I will see you there.